Well, good afternoon, everyone. If you would like to come and have a seat, it's air conditioned under here. All the ones sitting will attest to that, right? Or if you'd like to remain out, that's okay also, but we do want to get the program started because we want to get you inside this fabulous building just as soon as we possibly can. So um, my name is Carol Ax, and on behalf of Mesa Community College, the Exercise Science and Nursing Departments, we welcome you to this wonderful celebration. And I cannot begin to tell you how excited we all are to talk to you about this building and to show you this building. It is a phenomenal structure, and when you get inside, I know you're going to agree with me. So I'd like to, first of all, thank our musicians. They are Mesa Community College music students. We have Ben Jones, and we have John Mayer Meyer. I practiced that, too. <laughs> so thank you very much. It was a wonderful, wonderful beginning to our our celebration this afternoon, so it's great. I believe we have some guests in the audience today, and it gets very dangerous because some of them I have seen and talked with and others I have not, so uh, I'm going to do the ones I know and then the ones that I've kind of seen walking around, I'll mention those too. So um, we have Mesa Mayor Scott Smith. Did he get here yet? I know he was coming, but not yet. Okay, well, maybe he'll come. We have Dina Higgins, who is council person uh, for Mesa. And Scott Summers, did he arrive? No? Okay, well, maybe soon. And we have Donna Schober from the district, who is here representing our chancellor, Dr. Rufus Glasper. And we have Dr. Pan, who is president of Mesa Community College. And I see James Mabry, who is Vice President of Academic Affairs. And I saw Sonia Pearson, who is Vice President of Student Affairs somewhere earlier. But I, oh, there she is, way in the back. And I saw Kurt Conover, who is Vice President, acting, or acting Vice President of Academic Services. Kurt, are you somewhere? You were, a little earlier. So anyone else that's out there, um, thank you very much for coming. And there is a group that I do see that I really want to recognize, and that's our students. I don't know if you've looked around, but if you see these dark greenish kind of uniforms over here, they are our nursing students, and that's the best part. Well, when we started planning this building uh, about two years ago, we had a primary focus. And the primary focus was students, students learning, and health and wellness. And everything about this building speaks to those three things. And in that process, we had several individuals that helped us meet our goals. So I'm going to name them. And again, that becomes very dangerous because you forget to name some people that were, were very influential. So I'm going to do my best with it. So first of all, I want to mention our architects, which is the Smith Group. This group is, took this building. Now, I don't know what your history is with Mesa Community College, but if you were around in the late 60s and the 70s and the 80s, the interior of this building was the old physical science building. And when I say old physical science building, I truly mean old physical science building. And if you look at some of the pictures that are around, those are what Smith Group has done for us. But more than that, <clears throat> they listened to our faculty and our staff, they learned from them, and they produced this phenomenal facility. So we cannot thank them enough for what they have done for us and for our students. Then there is McGough, who is the construction company who had the ability to take the plans that the Smith Group designed and construct this facility. And as you look at it, there's only two new parts, and that is this east wing and this south wing. All the rest is the original building. 
So there was new construction and refurbished construction within this building. And then we had Joe Bartlett, who was the project manager from the district. Joe was at all of our meetings, very quiet, but he carried a big stick. And when things weren't going too well, he was able to move them forward for us. So he was a very important person in this process. Richard Clough, I think we're going to name these two corridors the Clough Corridors because they are Richard's idea. When we were talking about how are we going to accomplish all we need and want with just the original building. And we talked about going up and Richard said, well, why don't we add two new wings? So thank you, Richard. Wonderful suggestion to do that. Another big component of this building is the simulation lab. And I know you are going to visit that when you go on the tour. I have to thank Dayton Harbo from IT, Kent Duffy from Media Services, Karen Sherrill, who worked together with all of the outside constituencies that helped produce that simulation lab. It is a wonderful, wonderful facility, and I know you're going to want to see that. And then there's Janice Pearson, who is uh, one of our interior design faculty. She uh, found four students, Hannah, Carrie, Andrea, and Tammy, and they came together and they designed 10 signs that if you find them scattered throughout the building, and they are on the walking tour, they talk to you about the sustainability features of this building. So we have student input, and it's another learning process for us here. Then another group that I want to talk about is, uh, well, it's not a group. It's a person, and it's Leslie Bainey. And Leslie, I don't know if you're out here. I know you were going to come. But every piece of furniture, every little detail that had to be ordered for this building, Leslie created the requisitions. She knew when they were coming in. She knew when they got here. She knew where they were being stored. And this building would be empty without her. And last but not least is the nursing department and the exercise science department. The faculty and the staff came together learned about each other, learned how to compromise, and produced what this building really has become. So I completely thank all of you for being a part of this wonderful, wonderful process. So one of the major features of this building is that it's a learning facility. It's hands-on. So it seems very appropriate that when you are allowed to go inside, and I know you can't wait to go in there, that you're going to be able to participate. You can also observe if you want to, but we want you to our participate in what our students are participating in. So some of the things that you can do, you can go to the Sim Lab, and you can see Stella and Carl Bellman, who are our high fidelity mannequins. And you might even see Noel have a baby tonight, if you happen to be there at the right time. Or, you might find out about healthy hands. I did that today. I had to sign my name, and then I cleaned my hands, and then I went under the light, and I did a pretty good job. So I'm going to challenge you to see how you do with that job. You can have your blood pressure taken. You can learn how to do exercises at your desk. You can look at the versatility of some of the um, exercise science classrooms. You could go into the bod pod if you wanted to and have your body fat measured. And you can do an activity uh, <laughs> course. So there's, there's all kinds of things that you can do once we let you get inside. So I'm going to just do a couple more thank yous. Um, one of them is to Rubio's, who is supplying us food, which will be inside. The other is from Golden Spoon Yogurt. And you know it has to be healthy food, so our nutrition faculty were very involved in what you have to eat and drink tonight. So we're, our main concern is that you are healthy individuals. Then also, two other people that I have to thank are Laura Lassiter and Delenn Bodine. The entire 
uh, institutional advancement department has been phenomenal all the way through this process with us. But these two ladies just guided us the whole way and they made this process fun and just it was a very entertaining thing for us to plan this particular session. So thank you very much. You are always just there and, and doing just the greatest things. Um, one other thing I might mention, you're going to see all kinds of signs posted inside that say no food or drink. Well, we're going to let you take your food and your drink inside so long as you say, stay in the soft spaces where the students can eat. But if you go into a classroom, we're going to ask you to not take it in there because we really want this building to stay just exactly like it is for a long, long time. So again, thank you very much for coming. Uh, at this time, I'm going to introduce Donna Schober, who is here to say a few words for us on behalf of the Chancellor. Thank you, Carol. It truly is an honor to represent the Chancellor today. And I bring greetings from our Chancellor, Dr. Rufus Glasper. He's out of town and very sorry to miss this celebration of your new health wellness building. Many of you know, many of you know that the Chancellor is very, very committed to wellness and to maintaining himself in a healthy uh, state. He works very hard at this and we're all extremely grateful that he does. It's one reason he's particularly sorry to miss the celebration today. I'd like to comment on a couple of significant points about the Health Wellness Building and our celebration this afternoon, and then I would ask you to reflect on them in the days ahead. The learning environment is critical to quality teaching and learning and student success, and this building exemplifies that principle very strongly. I've walked through it already today. It is designed around a student experience. It's going to bring students together to encourage and enhance their learning and to make it very convenient for them to learn. The faculty, I'm sure, will greatly enjoy the opportunity to interact with students and to use the cutting edge technology, including the labs and the diagnostic equipment, to enhance their teaching. It will be convenient for visitors, like me, to take part in educational activities as well. Kudos and thanks to the college faculty and staff, the architectural firm, the design team, and the construction team who worked on this project. You're to be congratulated for your fine work. This must have been a remarkable partnership, a labor of love to achieve what you've achieved. And of course, I'll, we need to thank our community who voted for bonds and so on that helped to finance the project and many other projects on our college campuses. Without the support of our community, we would not have these wonderful facilities. I am intrigued with the concept of the exterior wrap of this building to bring the new into existing parts of the building. It's interesting to think about this in terms of the life cycle of this campus. The early campus buildings here have a particular look and feel. The newer buildings have a different look and feel. And this building helps to bring together the new with the existing. This building will surely stand the test of time on this campus. And wouldn't it be exciting to think about this building as one that could merit listing on the National Register of Historic Places? as one with architectural and historical merit. Um, maybe in 50 years or so that will be the case, but it is exciting to think about that and to think about the efforts that would have produced a building worthy of listing on a national register. We are celebrating more than the opening of the Health and Wellness Building. We are celebrating the interdisciplinary collaboration that has occurred between two very important campus departments nursing and exercise science. And it has occurred in what would appear to be a seamless manner. One program focuses on healthy lifestyles and one on quality health care, both very important for student success in our community. Just imagine our healthy Mesa students graduating with a distinctly competitive edge to take their place among the Valley's health care workers. Finally, please take advantage 
of all the demonstrations and information available today and leave with a greater awareness of and renewed commitment to good health for you and your family. Small steps can lead to big changes. I thank you again for inviting me on behalf of our Chancellor to share this celebration with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Donna. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Sean Pan, who is president of Mesa Community College. You know, one thing I realized, I forgot my red jacket. Both ladies have red. I, I need to get one. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and friends. This is a happy occasion, occasion to celebrate opening a very important milestone at Mesa Community College campus. As I listen to Donna's comment, it reminds me three words that are probably very important for our institution, but also for this occasion. The first word is about renewal. Community college started in America some 60, 70 years ago. Mesa Community College will be celebrating our 50th anniversary in a couple of years. We have a solid foundation of serving East Valley residents and citizens of Mesa. We're open access. Today we grow to be, we're serving close, little shy of 27,000 students between Red Mountain and this campus. Truly, we are an important workforce, important educational workforce for East Valley and the city of Mesa. But yet, this institution got to continue to renew itself we are looking at our mission, vision, and value. Mesa Community College want to adopt this vision, that is, to lead the way in student success, in success of our community in locally and globally. So it's a renewal. This building symbolizes our effort to build on the foundation, the strengths of Mesa Community College, and leading towards the future, renewal. The second word, that has been spoken quite a bit, both in Carol's remarks and Donna's, is the word collaboration. It is collaboration between the community and Mesa Community College. Without your support, without the taxpayer support, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't have the resources. It is that, again, 2004 bond, the taxpayers made it possible. It is collaboration between our architectural firms the, engine, the construction firm, the collaboration between two disciplines, nursing department and wellness programs, collaboration between faculty and students, collaboration between many parts of the institution to make this happen. In the difficult budget times, the word collaboration partnership cannot be more important. I'm so pleased that collaboration is part of Mesa Community College. We need to continue that. The third word is about innovation. Our students deserve the cutting edge, the best quality teaching, learning in, on our campuses. And this building symbolizes that. Our faculty are very innovative. Our nursing program for many, many years has turned out the best nursing faculty ever. In fact, we grow, we graduate probably over 100 students, every uh, nursing students. And these students are spread out throughout the hospitals, nursing homes throughout the city, and all of Arizona. Our wellness program serves many parts of not only students, but residents. So the innovation is another very important value of Mesa Community College. So it is, again, through the collaboration of the two departments, along with the Smith Group, and the skilled craftsmanship of McGough Construction Company transformed this 42, 43-year-old building into the state-of-the-art building, which you will see in a short while. Excellence in teaching is our first priority. I'm very pleased. I want to thank this group for their efforts. This construction, this building, is about 38 some thousand square foot. An example of science and wellness 
wellness in action. In this facility, students will be able to gain knowledge in the classroom and take that knowledge immediately to the lab to practice what they learn. The blend of the old and the new is a creative solution indeed. It is also physically responsible. The nursing department, the nursing faculty were looking towards a new, complete new construction in 2002-2003 when we had the bound. Construction caused the reason we were not able to do that. Today, this building costs a little bit over $5 million. It is a great bargain <laughs> in terms of the cost, what would be to build a new structure. Also significant, it is an interdisciplinary approach between the nursing exercise department. The building design integrates oversized glass walls within mentoring block for the transparent classrooms, which encourage shared interest in each discipline. The design also invites the campus community and our public to learn about the healthy lifestyles and to take part in the educational activities. As we begin to initiate and cut ribbon, open the doors to the building, it is important for me to note these things. First, this building symbolized the support, as I mentioned just a minute ago, of our community and the taxpayers' contribution to higher education throughout the county of Maricopa. It symbolized our mission, our funda mission, fundamental mission, open access to excellence in higher education. It is the key to our mission here. It symbolized opening the door to a bright future creating greater opportunities for our students. At this time, I'd like to invite Donna Schubert, Carol X, Department Chair Einstein, Debbie Peter. I see our new friend from East Valley Partnership. Annette, would you please join us too in the ribbon cutting, please. 